Hey everyone, thanks for joining us back in the Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Matt Jones. First, we're going to start off with a look today. It's a 12 hour loop of Sebring. I love this picture because you not only can see the sunset, but again, you can also see the moon set there. Pretty cool picture that we had today. Beautiful, clear skies, plenty of sunshine. It's going to stick around for the next couple of days. We're going to go to the wall. We're going to get a lot to talk about tonight. First, we're going to start off with daylight savings time. We talked about just a second ago. Then we're going to get to current conditions, what we're going to talk about now, and even our election forecast and snow. We'll talk about that in our seven day just here in a second. First off, clear skies today. We saw it just in the last loop in the video of Copeland Oaks, but check this out. Throughout the entire region, a little bit of cloud cover to our south, a little bit of cloud cover to our north, but again, the Great Lakes region, beautiful sunny skies, and this is going to stick around for the next few days as we see in Future Tracker. Temperatures pretty stagnant throughout the valley. We're looking at temperatures at home right around 47 in Youngstown. Throughout Ohio, same picture. We're looking at upper 40s, low 50s in some areas. And well, the temperatures, they're just going to draw from there. Those clear skies, we talked about it all night. Again, when you have those clear skies and you don't have any cloud cover, it allows all that daytime heat to lift. And that's why we're all going to drop down to temperatures lows and the low 40s. Some of us could even see the 30s again tonight. It's going to be another cooler night. We'll play that out in a future tracker for you starting tomorrow morning. Relatively cool again, low 40s tomorrow warming back up, but for tonight. Temperatures right around 41 degrees. We are seeing the possibility of some patchy fog. So if your area that you're prone to get a little bit of fog, make sure you're going to be careful if you're going to go out tomorrow. But that's going to quickly burn off with those clear skies warming back up into the upper 50s, low 60s. I expect us to reach a high again right around 62 degrees, mostly sunny skies. And that trend will continue as we start off our work week. Monday morning as we're getting ready for work, another cooler night. Temperatures back down into the mid 30s this time. So a little bit chilly, but again, warming back up into the 60s. So <laughs> you've probably seen this trend a couple times. Not only are we going to get it for Sunday, we're going to get it for Monday and even for Election Day on Tuesday. We're going to start the day off 7 a.m. Temperature right around 42 degrees, warming back up into the upper 50s by noon. So if you're going to be at the polls again, it's not going to be rainy, but it's going to be chilly. So you're going to need a jacket or maybe a couple jackets with that. And then again, that trend will continue as we get to the rest of the week. Now pay attention to Wednesday. That's where our first cold front comes through. We're seeing temperature change get a little bit cooler. Sun's back on Thursday, warming up to only 56 degrees. And then Friday, Saturday, check Friday out. We're seeing a high right around 44 degrees. That's when another cold front comes through. We're only getting to a high on Saturday of 38, low of 35 and Saturday night. We're looking at 32. So again, look at the forecast for Saturday, rain and snow. We're going to have to keep a very close eye on that, especially as we get towards next weekend. You're watching 27 First News at 11. We'll be right back.